Alright guys, welcome back to another episode of Wrestling GM. Uh, not only is it another episode, it is a preview special. As some of you might have seen, it, it seems like the game's kind of blown up a wee bit recently. I think Brandon Plays played it, and Tony Pizza Guy played it. You know, guys have very big WWE uh, Universe Mode series and stuff. are very well known in those communities, so it's interesting that they're playing this game. Um, and I don't know if it was in the game last time we played, because it's actually been updated quite a bit recently. Um, you can name your... Um, reviews and your weekly shows maybe it was in last time i don't have a name for a weekly show i barely have a name for this what are we going to call this um for uk promotion we're going to go with like you know mayhem in manchester do i have enough space for that yeah there we go if you have any suggestions for names of fit reviews or the next review did it cut off the end mayhem in manchester because you know we're turning around the uk i guess that should be a capital m shouldn't it Mayhem. Yeah, and you know, if you have better suggestions for our weekly shows or for pay-per-views uh, to use for next month, let me know and uh, we can cover it there. So, 120 minutes is a lot for us. I feel like if you look at our feuds, nothing's really hot, but also a lot of our guys can't go for very long. Um, But we'll we'll see what we can book, you know, we'll see what we can book. Uh, we are going to start the pay-per-view. No, we're going to add a segment. That's how that works. Uh, we'll start off with the tag team match between our, if you look at our feuds here, uh, between Chris Paddock and Steve Nottingham and Grant and our tag team champions. So, go to midcard, I believe they are. Yeah, Paddock and oh, Nottingham's a main eventer, isn't he? Yeah. And then switching over to side B, we're using Grande and Ortega. They should have better stamina. We're not going to have the tag champs lose the belts here. Mainly because we might use Nottingham in the title race. In the world title race next month. And uh, we want them going about 16. <coughs> and then we're going to have a angle uh, of our tag champs celebrating. Just to... Use up a bit more time. Four minutes sounds good to me. Then we want to get some more of our guys in the background on the card. Guys like uh, the Behemoth, who we've been pushing a little bit recently. I think we said we were going to put him in there with Hernandez, right? Herman, sorry. Uh, yeah, get Behemoth the win. They can go about... Can they go about 18 minutes? I know there's no story to the match, but it's two main event guys. They may as well get a bit of a run. <coughs> and they're just using, you know, um, 40 minutes already, so we're about a third of the way through the pit review. Uh, if we... What should we do for the... Neither of the guys in the mid-card championship are particularly over. Uh, but we'll give Redman a promo. There he is. Also, I've discovered... Um, the reason I'm mixing up Oliver Redman, I think on the indies, the guy is called Oliver Gray, and in WWE, no, in the, in WWE, he was called Oliver Gray, and the indies, he's called Joel Redman, so my brain fused the two names together when I was trying to pluck it out of uh, thin air when discussing him in uh, that last episode, although definitely Joel Redman, Oliver Gray, has never got this much um, conversation in quite a long time, especially in a series that has absolutely nothing to do with that period of NXT. Although, you know, great period of NXT. Love early NXT. So we will have Cassia Storm taking on our guy, Oliver Redman. Uh, Redman's going to get the win for the pure title. 2-1 uh, win. We don't want it going 28 minutes. That was a misclick. They can't go too long, I think. Because uh, Storm's not great. So 15 minutes sounds about right. See, I think we're going to need more um, mid-card matches here. Uh, because we're only 60 minutes in. So even if, um, the pay-per-view goes to 120, um, we'll not have had, you know, if you put them in event at 20 minutes, that's still sort of 40 minutes left to book. So who else on the roster do we need to use? Um... None of the main eventers there. 
Um, we could use, uh, what tag teams do we have that we're not using? Oh, I need a, another angle, actually, before we do anything else. I want an angle of celebration for our new champion, Oliver Redman. Four minutes is fine. It's probably a bit much, but... That's what we're going to do with it. We'll have a tag team match and we'll shuffle it back down in the booking afterwards, just. We'll have, um... What teams do we have? We'll have... Hooligan and Wagner versus the Superhumans. There we go. Wagner and Jim Hooligan. Against the, the Superhumans, the Big Swede and Nordstrom. Did not mean about Nordstrom, but. Uh, no, we want Sweden Nordstrom winning. Let them go 12 minutes. 12 minutes sounds about right. And then we'll just shuffle it up the card. Uh, let me know in the comments, by the way, if you guys have actually been playing this game and how you've just been finding it. I do quite enjoy it, so any um, feedback on what you guys are doing in the game and how you guys are enjoying it is always welcome. We probably want a Highlander promo, actually. Do we want a Highlander or... Uh, I wonder if we do both of them having a promo. I haven't ran a pay review on this yet, so I don't know. We'll try having both of them do promos before the match. Um, but it, it could end up being too much talking and stuff on this card. Because I don't know if there's a... I mean, there is product, actually, but I don't... I haven't read over to see if it's, like, you know, breaks down how much talking they want and how much actual wrestling they want. So we want 1v1. Do we want to go hardcore? Probably not this month. We can maybe do a cage match. Yeah, cage match. Keep all the outside distraction in. No, keep all the outside, outside, and the inside, inside. You know how it, how it goes. Typical, like, you've got a big stable, and you need to keep guys in, and you need to keep guys out. The Highlander is not going to get the win, but, you know, that sneaky, sneaky Gonzalo Marine is going to escape with the belt. Can we go longer than 20 minutes, I wonder? Can I open these guys from here? No, I can't. I think, stamina-wise, they might last if we've done 24. 106 minutes, so we need 14 minutes left. That's just a mid-card match, really. Um, well, once we have Marine celebrate, um, we won't even need that much more. Because next month, if you don't know where, we're going to have Grundy reunite with Highlander. And um, that should take up a little bit of what, you know, the space that we're going to have going on. So, we'll probably have a match in there to break up the... Uh, all of the talking. So we'll go Bone Collector and is there like a bigger name face? Grundy's not on the card. Bone Collector, Grundy. Gonna go 12 minutes. Did we give Grundy the win? No, we didn't. We need to edit that. Because, you know, we have use for Grundy next month, so we want him to at least have a little bit of momentum. So this is, by the looks of it, our pay review. Um, we'll kick off with the tag titles match. Behemoth will get a big pay per view win. Uh, the Superhumans will get a big pay per view win. Redman wins the title of pay per view, and then Grundy gets a bit of a hype win to build up to a future match where he'll team with the Highlander. Yep, begin the show. Uh, no, I don't want to rate the app right now, but it is very good. Um, I just don't want to have to go through iTunes right now. 63, by the way, I didn't specify this before. I'm hoping for at least a 60 overall rating from this peer review. Um, we've kind of been stuck on 57 for most of our TV show matches. So I'm hoping for a 63, 60 overall rating from this peer review. Uh, good to open the show with a 60 then. Ortega and Grand a uh, retain. 
Best in the match was Stevie Nottingham by the looks of it. Yeah, and Ortega put on a really good show as well, though. So, you know, Nottingham could be a option for the top title. And the belt didn't gain prestige, actually, from their victory, which is unfortunate. Celebration angle brings us back down, but not too much. 69, Behemoth and Herman have a great match, uh, with Behemoth getting a 65 and a 66 for Herman. Uh, both growing a little bit. 55, not great. Obviously, not everybody on our roster is that over. So, but a 55, it's not too low. The, the, honestly, the pure title match could bomb us later. Uh, 54 for Wagner, 53 for Hooligan, 45 and 49 for the Superhumans. Not great, but I just, I really like the Superhumans gimmick. Feels really like weird and old school, I guess. 53 for the Oliver Redman gimmick gimmick for his promo he's got decent charisma actually so we probably should have done better 55 again not a great match oliver redman uh, wins the pure title in a best to best uh, of three falls match two to one fall 16 minutes cassia storm got a 52 redman a 54 gets redman a hell of a lot more fans more technical wrestling skill so good for him so far Probably, he probably could go a lot longer. They probably actually both could have went longer. But their matches just aren't great, so I keep making them shorter. Maybe I needed to make it longer. I don't know. We can maybe test that on TV this week. And then Redmond Celebration gets a 51. Grundy in this... Oof. Grundy and uh, Bone Collector Bomb. As the Bone Collector gets a 42 and Grundy gets a 59, so... Maybe Grundy just needed a better opponent than Bone Collector. Hopefully that hasn't killed a momentum. 62 from the Highlander. And a 70 from Maureen. So maybe we're doing the right decision by keeping the belt on Maureen for now. 78. What a match. That's easily the best match we've had so far. And probably got us over our 16. Um, the champ gets a 66 in his retain of the belt. 68 from the Highlander. The belt prestige is an 87. I don't know if that's up or not, actually. Uh, but what a match. Really good. Um, probably didn't actually want to attempt by Pinfall. We won attempt by Cage Escape. Uh, I think. You know. Or, I don't know if Marine has high flying abilities, but you know, maybe Marine doesn't move off the top. Lands a Highlander, pins him. Something like that. Celebration in the show. 68. That's bound to be a 60 rated show. 63. 62 for Mayhem in Manchester. Um, not bad. Not bad. Got... More gold coins, actually, so we're probably a lot closer to uh, being able to get someone now. 62 is actually pretty good for us. Yes, that's fine. We don't want to see the rest of the show. So, there is our first month officially booked. Part of how the pay-per-view went. Um, our feuds ended up looking like this. They all were still pretty cold. Although, we're going to probably end them. I think you're meant to have really, really long running storylines in this game. But we're probably going to switch ours up next month because at the end of next month, the series will be over. So that's sort of our goal we're booking towards is having a big send off for the save. And let me know, you know, uh, what do you want our weekly TV show to be like? What do you want it to be called until the end of the week? To the end of the month, I guess. Um, what have we got? Uh, if we don't have anything, maybe it'll be like we're the, the collection. The collection, um, British Wrestling Weekly, something like that. British Wrestling Weekly is definitely a, a show name already, actually. But, I don't know. Any suggestions for pay-per-views and stuff are always welcome. And I think that's actually been a decent card. Can I see our, our title prestige here? Championships. Oh, but it doesn't tell me if it's gone up or down. Prestige history, there it does. Okay, so it stayed, that's fine. That's fine, and then the pure is the same. Okay, so none of the titles actually moved. Not title lineage. Prestige history, yeah. All the titles are the same. Next month, we're going to probably be changing our top champions, so look out for that. Thank you guys for checking out this episode. I hope you've enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one. Cheers.